Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are on page 96 of your student journal, 96, 96. And our objective today is today I will identify numbers and count out the correct number of objects. Okay, so today we're still working with numbers six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, but we're going to be doing something a little different than them. So yesterday we practiced the circling. Today that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm not going to go through and practice all of our numbers, but we have examples of six objects, seven objects, eight objects, nine objects, and 10 objects. So our steps today tell us we're gonna identify the number. So we're gonna look and ask ourselves, what number is that? And then today we're gonna to circle the correct number of objects. So we're going to circle objects. That's what we're going to be doing today, friends. Okay, so I'm gonna put down my green pen and grab my red pen. If you wanna put down your pencil and watch me. Here is my first problem. Now my first problem says, identify the number, that means look at the number and ask, know what that number is, and then circle the correct number of objects. Okay, so I'm gonna circle the objects. Okay, so what do I see? I see a lot of puppies, very cute puppies, and I see the number seven. That number is number seven. So they want me to circle seven puppies. There's a lot more than seven there. They gave me a lot to try to be a little tricky, but they only want me to circle seven. So I'm going to count out loud as I circle. Okay, ready? I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> That's all the puppies I'm gonna circle because they only wanted me to circle seven. I could even go back and count them just to make sure I only circled seven. So I can count them one time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I circled seven just like they asked me to. So these puppies I'm gonna leave alone. I'm not gonna do anything with them. Okay, friends, let's look at one more that I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm gonna identify the number. I'm gonna look at the number and ask myself, what does that say? That says nine. That is a number nine. So now my picture are little dog houses or puppy houses. So they want me to circle nine houses. So I'm gonna go really slow and I'm gonna circle as I count out loud. So ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is nine dog houses I circled. And that's what they wanted me to do. So these dog houses I just leave alone. We're not gonna do anything with those. Okay, so friends, let's do some of these together. We are on page 97, 97 of your student journal. And our first problem that we're doing together also has puppies. But this time the, the directions say, identify the number, circle the correct number of objects. So they want us to circle. That's what that word says, circle. Okay, so what is our number? If we identify this number, this is a number eight. Friends, number eight. So they want us to come over here with our puppies and circle eight of them. So ready, get your pencil ready, and we're gonna count out loud as we circle them. Ready, we're gonna start here on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. I circled eight puppies because they gave us the number eight. Nice job, friends. Okay, let's do one more together. Okay, so this time let's identify our number. What number is this? This is a number 
six. Okay, so they want us to come over here with our dog houses and they want us to circle six of them. So let's get our pencil ready and we're gonna count out loud. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I circled six dog houses. Okay, boys and girls, make sure when you do the rest on your own, you identify your number and then you circle the correct number of objects. Have a good day. Bye-bye.